You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television, for you, by you. Hi everyone and welcome to Life on Gabriola TV. My name is Tatiana Mallory and today I'm in Waikiki, Oahu, Hawaii. Have you ever felt like there were a million tourists at the village on a Saturday in August? Here in Waikiki, there are literally millions of tourists with over 4 million coming every single year. Try getting a parking spot at Twin Beaches with those numbers. Waikiki means spouting waters in Hawaiian because of the many rivers and springs that flow through the area. In the past, fish ponds and taro patches were predominant. Now there are many high-rise condos and resorts. Polynesians were the first humans to visit and settle in the Hawaiian Islands and crossed over 2,000 miles of ocean in canoes between 1,000 and 1,200 AD, bringing animals and crops to plant. For a time, contact was maintained with Polynesia, but then it stopped. 400 years of isolation followed and the Hawaiians developed their own unique culture. The first plantation on Oahu was sugar cane in 1825, and later coffee and pineapple and other fruit and vegetable plantations were added. A large number of Japanese workers, in addition to Chinese, Filipino, Samoan, Korean, Portuguese, Puerto Rican, and African American workers came to Hawaii to work on the plantations. This brought a new cultural mix to the island, which endures in a diverse food scene. Here at the Mitsua Marketplace, for example, you can find all kinds of Japanese food favorites. Let's take a look. In the 1800s, Waikiki was a playground for Hawaii's royalty who would surf on boards akin to longboards. Surfing came to Hawaii with the Polynesians. Duke Kahanamoku became famous for practicing his traditional sport and helped spread it from Waikiki to around the world. The Kingdom of Hawaii was sovereign from 1810 until 1893 when the monarchy was overthrown by resident American and European businessmen and landholders. Then, in 1898, the Hawaiian Islands were annexed by the United States. In Leaving Paradise, Jean Barman and Bruce McIntyre Watson write how a significant number of native Hawaiians made their way to the Pacific West Coast at the end of the 19th century. These Hawaiian arrivals often intermarried with indigenous Canadians and frequently worked in the fur trade. Many of them settled in the Gulf Islands, so much so that this area was nicknamed Little Hawaii. Hawaii became the 50th state in 1959, resulting in lingering tensions with the native Hawaiians who believed the islands should be independent.
I'm in front of the Moana Surfrider Hotel, which was built in 1901, which is the first resort hotel built in Waikiki. It is built in a Victorian style. The second major tourist hotel was the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, also known as the Pink Palace. It opened in 1927 and offered more resort-style accommodation on Oahu. The architecture is in a Spanish Moor style. Many movies have been filmed on Waikiki Beach using these hotels as a backdrop. Um, can you just tell me something interesting about Waikiki that most people don't know? Mm, I think... I feel like Waikiki is not as... It's not like the real Hawaii, I feel like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's nice here and I think a lot of tourists who come by, yeah. they think it's interesting. But I, uh, to really experience Hawaii, I think you gotta go outside of Waikiki in order to fully experience it. Waikiki may not be the real Hawaii, but with its lush vegetation and hustle and bustle, it's a lively place to start. Thanks for watching this episode of Life on Gabriola TV. Aloha!